Hi, the first alpha release of TRD Station is now ready. Now this is very rough at the moment. Don't expect bells and whistles and polish. It's very, very early. I've nailed this together in a couple of days. So uh, I've got the zip file here on the desktop. So let's just, and links to this will be in the description. Just extract. Okay, the first time you run it, it will probably ask you to install .NET. I've obviously already got it running, uh, got it installed, so that's not going to happen for me. But this is what the application looks like. We've got the VFOs are completely separate. They're not combined into one. Uh, we've got the keypad. And then here, there's only one option, serial port. But that eventually will have all of the radio settings in there so that you can get to them quickly. I uh, just haven't got that far yet. So let's make this a little bit bigger. Okay. So to connect to the radio, obviously best to do it with the USB-C port, but that port can be a little bit finicky. So sometimes you have to unplug and plug it back in. I don't know why, but it's just one of those things. So go down to your COM port for whatever that is set up for. Mine is on COM10. And it will sync the radio so it takes a few seconds and there we go uh, i'm in channel mode here so take it out of channel mode for the time being right so all of the options on here well most of them are actually clickable so this is your power at the moment it's set to low just click it it will set to high narrow wide this is your roger bleep uh, dual watch on and off and your step yep so just click on them to change them this is your ctcss and dcs for tx and rx uh, just click on that you'll get a menu and then just select which whichever one you want it's easy enough you can turn it off like that uh, to enter a frequency you can just type it on the keypad type it on the keyboard you know anyway or you can go up or down Oops. like so and that will be dependent on whatever your step is set to obviously and when you go up and down when the step is set it will quantize to the step to go into split mode just click on the TX frequency and then you can edit it so if I go to 300 here you can see it gives me an arrow pointing down indicating it's a negative offset or if I go higher it'll point up okay and then you can just type in obviously anything you want in there to turn split off just click on the arrow okay uh, you can swap the VFOs by pressing tab or by clicking on this button here and you can also go from VFO to channel mode. To do that, click on the VFO here. And now I'm in channel mode. So if I go up and down now, it will scroll through the channels on the radio. And if I type, I'm entering a channel number rather than a frequency. And to get out of channel mode, just click there again. You'll go back to VFO. On the right hand side, this basically works exactly the same way as the left. It's just that you don't have these two options, right? Because they are, they're not VFO specific. They, they just work for both of them. So I had to put them somewhere. So I'll just put them in the first window. And that's, that's it for now. So further updates are coming. What I want to be adding to this is a channel editor, a power level editor, a firmware flasher, you know, the works. I want it to do everything. So that's the state of it at the moment. I will have to point out as well that at the moment there's no source code available because I've got to work things out with TID Radio about things like this. So there's going to have to be an element of trust there. Yeah, I'm asking you to run something that I've written. I will say, however, that, you know, I've been pretty active in this community. People have sent me stuff. People know where I live. You know, if I wanted to do something like that, it would be pretty stupid. So anyway, thanks for watching and I'll see you all later. Bye.